Oh, good day, YouTube, and welcome to another episode of the Albino Round of Beer Review. You have the Rhino, you have Colgate, you have uh, John and and Joe over there. We have a beer that Joe actually brought to us. This is Elysian's Dark of the Moon, which is a pumpkin stout. Yes. 6.5% alcohol by volume. It is brewed with pumpkin, pumpkin seeds, and cinnamon. Brilliant. I know what tasting notes I'm going to comment on already. <laughs> Yellow candies. Yellow banana candies. Oh, I can smell that from here. I'm getting bubble gum. Oh my god. Sorry to have sipped that ahead of time, but god damn. That's a, that's a nice pour right there. That's a solid pour. I think it's the glass. Yeah. So we got the uh, dogfish glass bottle. That is yeah. a beautiful beer. I can't even see through As that. Ken would say, that is darker than the dark blood of the earth. Well, blacker than the black blood of the earth. The tiniest nice head. bit of red at the bottom. Beautiful, beautiful oh, brown head. Big bubbles. Looks nice. The cinnamon is very apparent. Yeah. Oh, it smells so good. The pumpkin is very apparent. The cinnamon is very apparent. This actually smells a lot like pumpkin pie. A um, little bit of caramel, a little bit of chocolate. That's a beautiful smelling beer. It looks incredible. It smells incredible. You already cheated, so let's get into it. I, yeah, need to I just try sipped it. a bit of the foam. Cheers, That's guys. That's what my wife says. <laughs> You know what? I wish I could have this all the time right now. It, I think it hits the proper stout marks too. Well, it does. It it's roasted. It's it's roasty and toasty. Chocolate, caramel, oh pumpkin, cinnamon. A little touch of nutmeg on there, giving that little bit of um, grittiness on the background. I think it's heavy enough to be a stout. Yeah. Like it's got like that bit of a thicker mouth feel. The cinnamon's coming off as sweetness. It's it's beautiful. It's not. It's not a... See, this is the first pumpkin stout I've had, and we Same have another one to try. It's not, oh my god, the most amazing stout I've had, but it is a, oh my god, this is a really good stout. Yeah, this is really well based, done. A base stout with pumpkin and spice. That's, it's basically what it, what it says it is, right? That's what it says it is. Pretty yeah, and that's just the thing. You're buying exactly what it says it is. It's not like oh. Buffalo Bill's pumpkin that's fucking no. water. It's not like, uh... It's not like a ginger pumpkin pilsner. Nope. It's uh, it it isn't all of the normal pumpkin spices. Like it is. Yeah, I'm not getting clove. On, I'm yeah. not getting allspice. I'm not getting ginger. But it kind of doesn't need it. No. Oh my god, it's so good. This is unbelievable. Yeah, I don't even know what to say about it. It's so damn good. What's the price on this, dude? Ninety nine for that uh, four pack, so about seven bucks a beer. Six, uh, it's, like seven forty nine. But it's about it's, six fifty. I mean, we both got a full totally glass. It's totally worth it. Elysian Dark of the Moon. Even now I've label. had I've had this is my third Elysian beer. I was unsold on the first two. The first two actually pissed me off. The Immortal. IPA? The Immortal and it the sucked. Hansel and Gretel. Weak. But well, this this actually makes up for the first two. The labels even kick ass. Their brewmaster is the guy that invented pumpkin beer. Yeah, I, th I think so. That's the, I mean that's they make shit tastes like he probably did. Because the guy that did Weisso Lantern and the pumpkin grew it with them was uh, from the states. I didn't remember which brewery it was, but yeah, he was the he was the godfather of pumpkin beers, is what they called him. Yeah, so they they know what the fuck they're doing when it comes to pumpkin beers. Other shit, not so much. Maybe not ginger pumpkin pilsners, but you know. 
And he does, like, a pumpkin beer festival, too. Where he has, like, a hundred different pumpkin beers. Oh, my God. That's that's awesome. Um, yeah, these pumpkin. This <laughs> is a great pumpkin beer. I actually am surprised with it because of the fact that it is what I've always wanted. I love stouts. I love porters. Oh, I do And too. pumpkin beers are my favorite seasonal. And you take the two of them, you put them together, and you get this. And we have a better stout to tr well, a stout that is made by a company that makes my favorite pumpkin beer to try too. And just trying this makes me so excited to try the next one. I'm surprised the ABV is so low. What is it, six five? Yeah. Not that you can tell that it's six five, but I just thought, I thought it'd be, yeah, I thought it'd be a little bit higher, but I don't even care. It's so good. It's just a beautiful pumpkiny taste, a beautiful cinnamon taste, and a beautiful stout taste. Chocolate, caramel, coffee, exactly what you want. I have to give this. Fuck, it's brilliant. I have to give it a nine. Is there a pumpkin dance? No, but it's a stout, so it would get the stout Just strut. Just a stout shuffle. You I'm, draw on your Ric Flair rope there, Chad. Woo! I'm okay to do the uh, stout shuffle. It's an easy nine. I'm kind of scared as to what this other one might rank at that we have sitting around. Um, now this this, this goes into phenomenal. the top five for me for pumpkin beers. Yeah, I, I'm in agreement with that. My top five right now would probably be pumpkin. St. Ambrose Great Pumpkin, which is now just the pumpkin ale. Uh, then this, then Weyerbacher Imperial, then Fat Jack. It, this knocked <clears> out. <throat> First this pump pushed out, unbelievable. This pushed uh, Black Creek out. Yeah, it's definitely better than Black Creek. I haven't had the Fat Jack. This is so damn good. Guys, if you see this, pick this up. Yeah, it's still strip time. Good thing there's a cat house here. For the old, uh... Oh, it's so damn good! <laughs> Christ! Thanks so much, Joe. No problem, man. Glad you guys enjoyed it. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Oh, shit, we too. weren't recording. <laughs> <laughs>